Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. And as you see, we're playing Daytona USA on the Sega Dreamcast. Um, I think I may have played this on the Saturn or the arcade, but I don't really remember. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and uh, I know it's a kind of a staple of the Sega genre. And the car even made a uh, appearance in the fighting game. Was it Fighting Vipers or Mega Mix? One of those. No, I'm gonna go with the Hornet only because that's the one that. That's the one I always see in things. Rin, rin, rink. Race start. I know the music is supposedly pretty cool, and the graphics were pretty good for the time. I think I played the Saturn version. I gotta use the analog, I can't use the D-pad. That's pretty cool. I was gonna see there was a button configuration menu. like a big arcade game back in, uh, I guess it would be like the mid to late 90s. I think I owned it on the, Sat on the Saturn when I had a Saturn. I think so. What does that do? Not sure what this does. I guess your car is fucked up? I don't really know. Alright, come on. As you can tell, I'm playing on automatic with my transmission because uh, I do not know how to drive stick. Position 20, that's horrible. Maybe I shouldn't have went to that, that uh, pit stop. I gotta look at the controls. I mean, I'm assuming since R is uh, go, then L is like a stop, like a handbrake, but maybe it's something else that I can use to like drift a bit. I don't have the rumble pack in. That probably would have been cool. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not very good at racing games. Um, I did like Test Drive Unlimited online a lot. And I did like... Uh, oh no! Blast! And I did like... Um, what was the other one I really liked? Was it Project Gotham I thought was pretty good? Wow, that was terrible. Let me see, let's, uh, let's back out for a moment. Go to controls. Oops. Gas pedal, brake pedal. Yeah, I was right. Oops. All right. Really not uh, too much there. Oh, that's the rolling start thing I always hear. That's funny. I like that.
Um, I think the graphics are pretty nice. I mean, you know, they, they're old fashioned. You can see that they're not perfect, but they're still pretty get damn good. still pretty damn good. I mean, they're still impressive. Whoa. Shit. Oh, man. This this car I am not good with. Not that I was good with the last one. Jesus. Alright, so if I let off the gas a little bit and go around turns, I seem to be doing okay. At least a little better. No, get out of the grass, fucko. Damn. That actually happened to me once in real life. I was driving right near my job, and uh, I was leaving work. You know, you're anxious to get home. And there was some, like, light snow on the ground, ice, and I skidded out, uh, making a left, and bashed my tire really hard into a uh, curb. If that curb was not there, I would have jumped the curb, I guess, or whatever, jumped onto the grass, and I would have went through someone's house. Um, I bashed it so hard that I fucked up the, uh, the wheel well, or the axle, not the wheel well, excuse me, the axle on the car was bent, and, uh, the car was never the same, and, you know, it was really expensive to fix, and, uh, it was an older car, so I drove the car as long as I could. That sucks. Wow, I'm not good at this at all. I drove the car as long as I could, but uh, the tire would wear unevenly and get all feathered and fucked up. And uh, I'd have to keep replacing the tire, so eventually I got rid of the car when it eventually broke down completely. But, uh, yeah, so that was it. As you can tell, I don't really have any skills. I don't have any bow hunting skills. Um... But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like I like the uh, humor in it, and uh, I think the game still holds up. It's pretty fun. It's a fun arcade game. If I had a racing wheel, I could see myself having some more fun, too. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I liked it. It was uh, Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and GravesideEntertainment.com. Be good.